Okay, so we're checking out the only game where you can tear the giant watery testicle that is the Earth apart with a ton of black holes named Divorce. It's Universe Sandbox 2. It's been a little while since I've done something incredibly stupid in Universe Sandbox 2, and thus today we're probably going to crash the game. Typically you'll see people use black holes, which is good, but today we're going to use an insane number of black holes to see what happens when we effectively create the rings of Saturn around the Earth made of black holes. I want to eventually get up to 1,000 black holes. I'm not 100% sure if this is possible. What the hell, that's what we do here. Over here in the custom objects area, I happen to have a black hole named Divorce. This also makes me realize that somewhere along the line, I just gave up when I was naming stuff. Like, Earth position locked. I totally understand what that means. Charles, I have no idea what this is. I mean, it looks like an Earth named Charles. I, it's stupid, it's something I would do. I just don't know what I did to make it Charles. I named the black holes Divorce because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna surround the Earth with them and they're all gonna be trying to get a piece of their baby boy. All the black holes want custody. I thought about just using the Earth alone, but honestly, a little collateral damage isn't a big deal. So I'm gonna go ahead and just keep the solar system here for right now as I start throwing these down. Today, we're gonna start with 10 black holes surrounding the Earth in order to see what happens and then we'll start moving our way up from there. I like how this one black hole is way the hell down here. It just got droopy. I don't know what happened. Is this the one divorced black hole had a stroke? This is gonna be the custody Earth. I'm gonna call it Pete. Now, typically, I would expect the Earth to be immediately evaporated, uh, but these are little tiny black holes. So I'm hoping what happens is they slowly begin to rip the Earth apart like a bunch of piranhas. All right, pause is off. Go ahead and speed up time a little bit. Now, the very moment when you watches Florida gets ripped into 2,000 pieces and the temperature goes up past 105 degrees Fahrenheit, which is fairly normal for us. That's when you're gonna know that the black holes are starting to do their job. Ah, I knew it was going to happen, holy sh We already have a nice 445,000 degree Celsius hot spot on the Earth. As usual, a lot of the damage is centered around Africa. I don't know why this always happens. Black holes have ripped out about a kilometer of material so far. Now, I think that what will happen here with 10 black holes is the Earth will more than likely get shredded into like six gajillion particles. The particles then will probably turn into these railgun style chunklets because there's so many black holes fighting for gravitational dominance. Ah, here we go. Look. It's kind of like the rabbit sh pellets of the Earth. Well, this is somewhat interesting. Uh, I don't really know how this happened, but uh, Pete has turned into a set of ovaries and a uterus. I mean, it could also be one of the ghosts from Pac-Man. The ghost from Pac-Man is now beginning to flex. It's interesting, these, these divorces over here got the best lawyers because they got all the beginning portions of Pete. Pete's childhood regret is now starting to slowly move around to the backside divorce black holes. Missing about uh, 20,000 meters of material from the earth now, straight down. Maximum temperature is a nice cool 2.8 million degrees Celsius. And yeah, most of Africa has been deleted. I'm actually kind of surprised that this much Pete is still left. I like that the boiling point of the water is now just negative 173 degrees Celsius. The maximum temperature is also beginning to go up very, very quickly. Inside of the Satan sphere, Pete's liquid diarrhea is already looking fantastic. When we start getting like a hundred or more black holes surrounding the earth, this is going to get completely ridiculous. I don't really know how this happened, but uh, ghost face has appeared within the spiritual essence of Pete. We've got two different colors for Pete's essence as well. See, this was the hopes, this bright stuff, and this darker stuff was the dreams. It's a very festive light show we've got going on over here. We're shooting past six million degrees Celsius as well. This right now is what the Earth looks like. 
It's like a lying bastard snowball. You know when you were a kid and you really wanted to be a dick to someone? So you packed a rock in snow and then you threw it at them? That's this. I am kind of curious if after this custody battle is over, the rest of the solar system is, you know, going to converge into this insanity. Oh, let's go ahead and speed time up because why the hell not? I can't believe that Pete has lasted this long. Hey, 238 million degrees Celsius. I'm still kind of impressed at how untouched Florida is. It's interesting how this galactic rapture is like happening in waves, all the pieces come out. And there you go, we have effectively created a dust cyclone out of the remnants of the Earth. Oh yeah, the game is real pissed off right now. Alright, I decided to go with 30. 30 divorce black holes surrounding the Earth. I think we'll go up to 100 next time. Not really sure if things will happen faster or worse. That moment when you're waiting for the powers of gravity to reach your Earth. I was gonna say the atmosphere is still there, so it hasn't happened yet, but holy Jesus Christ. I finally caught the water before it immediately evaporated. So now we're going to get to see exactly how quickly the water does evaporate from the Earth. It's pretty quick. It's going quick. Hey, we almost screwed up Australia this time. It kind of looks like the Earth is going supernova, but then the particles start moving toward the black holes and you get this. Oh, hell yeah, it's like using Ron Popeil's magic bullet blender, except instead of blending fruit, we're blending people. You can watch right here as Africa once again uh, slowly turns into a void. Okay, that was pretty quick. Before we go up, I kind of want to know what happens when I surround the sun with all these. Oh, yeah. All right. The sun is now surrounded by 100 divorce papers. All right, sun. Make me proud. Well, the sun hasn't begun projectile vomiting yet, so that's good. All right. Composition is still normal. Radius is still normal. Okay, things are... Things are starting to not be normal anymore. The sun is starting to have diarrhea toward the right side of the screen. See, unlike the Earth, the sun is getting cooler in this instance, both in temperature and looking much more awesome. It's like fireflies, except if you touch these, you'll be like incinerated. Mmm, the sun is radiating what's left of its love. I mean, it's still creating a lot of light, so it's still doing its job. Actually, the sun may be even better like this. It's like having a plastic surgery. It's like a breast enhancement, see? It's like larger now, it's even bigger. What's interesting right now is you can actually see like fault lines in the sun. It's pretty sweet. The sun has created its own rings of Saturn, except its ring fragments are 4,512 degrees Celsius. Each fragment also has the mass of 45 Earths. I, I'm actually really surprised that this game is able to handle 100 black holes so well. It actually kind of looks like uh, like CGI blood in a cheap slasher film just pouring out. The sun is lasting a long ass time compared to the earth. Most of the sun's children have stayed very close to home as you can see. However, when you have this many offspring, much of your life force goes with them. You know what I love? Gravity, because it does crazy shit no. like this. It's like a solar tornado. It's better than a normal tornado because this tornado is like 5,000 degrees Celsius. Come on, baby. You can make it. As all the felonies that the sun has committed catches up with it, I guess this means that we're, okay, that's cool. This means that we're going to have to go to 500 black holes. So this is kind of uh, interesting. The sun has shrunk to a point where it is in a perfect position do not get ripped apart by the gravity and its color has changed but only in areas now it looks like a the hell kind of perfect crop circle is this i was gonna say it looks like a half peeled orange but instead now it just kind of looks like a like a star wars droid it did a lot of crack oh my god this is gonna take forever i need an auto clicker number of clicks 500 oh that's so much better i screwed up and we ended up with 541 black holes It'll be all right. Oh, okay. We're going for Hollywood levels of divorce here. I tried to do the chart thing, but it doesn't work because they're black holes, so you don't really get the opportunity to see them. Okay, it has begun. Canada is still looking cold. 
Florida is still looking full of Bud Light. Everything's okay so far. Go ahead and speed things up. Just a little bit. Average surface temperature is 13.9 degrees Celsius. Those are rookie numbers. Okay, yep, I was gonna say. Everything on my computer just froze, which means that everyone's about to die. Who was the lucky one today to die first? Hey, what do you know? It's pretty close to Africa again. All right. So everything is doing fine. The game is not crashed yet. I'm gonna go ahead and speed things up a little bit more, assuming the game can handle it. Now we're starting to see pieces of the earth fly away. Wow. Yeah, Australia's getting evaporated pretty quick. See, this time, the tears of the Earth are going to get moved in a much larger orbit because of how many black holes there are. The tidal power of the Earth is very pissed off right now. I like how when the Earth is in this type of agony, there's a show atmosphere button. Does this change anything right now? There shouldn't be an atmosphere to show. I just want to let you know right now that the maximum temperature of the Earth is 1.2 billion degrees Celsius. I just thought about something. Again, I don't think that the game's going to be able to handle it, but I want to put a bunch of Earth in the middle of all of these black holes. Crash, you bastard. Crash, you know you want to. Oh my God. Oh yeah, make it happen. 14 FPS, we're still doing good. Oh look, it's like we're connecting the dots. Except instead of a childhood game, it's a way to kill countless people. It is handling this way better than I thought it would. I am super happy right now. We just reached 4.2 billion degrees Celsius on one of the Earths. Maximum snow death, 2.65 kilometers what the hell look at the coloration on this earth it looks like it's on lsd this is one of those instances where you can have uh negative 273 degrees celsius uh right next to uh 3.1 billion degrees celsius is this painting going to get any more insane i really don't think it can it's already so jacked up this is interesting in the hunger games of earth there's actually two left all right it's time to do 1000 black holes I'm gonna get real close this time too. All right, we're a little over a thousand. All right, computer, I'm about to unpause you. If you're going to kill me, just make it quick. Thought I'd take an opportunity to show you just how much divorce there is. Okay, we're off pause. The earth is here, 13.8 degrees Celsius. Everything's okay. Right until I move this bar slightly to the right. Oh God, oh gee, whoa. All right, so far so good. I was even able to like move the screen a little bit. 32 FPS, I can't believe it. By the powers of Satan, uh, Australia is getting dissected once more. I need to take a moment to mention that right now we are at a new personal best for me, which is 86.1 billion degrees Celsius. I don't even know what would happen if heat could register this high. There's like one sad bald spot right now on the back of the earth. I mean, it's getting smaller, not because, you know, of any kind of hair products, just because the earth is disintegrating. Well, since we still have some FPS left, might as well do this. There we go. Just lighten up the galaxy. Well, we did it. We surrounded the earth with 1,000 black holes and reached a new record for heat. And now we have somehow created Earth lasers as all of the particulates go shooting into space, as all the Earths piss into the urinal of the galaxy. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Universe Sandbox 2. Until next time, stay foxy, much love.